Okay, just got done making my cork ball pop-ups. I probably still have marks from a GoPro on my head, so please uh, keep that in mind if you're wondering what the big red mark is. As soon as you put the head strap on, it seems like it really presses against your head. Now, I told you, I still have uh, some paste left. So I'm going to show you something else that I just started doing. I really haven't seen anybody else doing this. And I love using dumbbells also for pop-ups. Well, you can get some cork sticks. These ones here from CC Moore, they're 6x12 millimeter. And basically, we're going to roll the paste around this to make a dumbbell. So you can see right there what we got going on. And this takes a little bit more time because with a cork ball pop-up, you can go like that and it really molds around it. Whereas this here, because it's a oblong shape, you can't do that. So basically how we have to start out is we have the little uh, stick there. You roll it one way just to form around, uh, around a long ways. Then you have to kind of mold in the ends of it to shape it. Because the biggest problem is with uh, cork ball pop-ups, you want to make sure this is completely sealed because if water can get inside, it's going to get into the cork and over time it'll make it sink and lose buoyancy. So you want to be very careful when making these. Just put a little bit extra time into it. It'll be definitely worthwhile. Now, the cool part is you can get cork, uh, the sticks in all different sizes. That way, this one here, I'm not even sure like what size that would be considered. Maybe a 16 mil, maybe. Because after you put the uh, couple extra mils around it, you have a little bit extra length and girth. So if you want like a bigger one that you can really buy, I know some of the ones that CC Moore makes, I think they're 14 mil. And sometimes I want just a hair bigger, so it's kind of nice that you can make you know, your own at home. So we're going to get started there. I'm going to use the GoPro again and just uh, show you exactly how I'm doing this. So let's get started. Okay. You can see I already made a couple here. You can make all different shapes and sizes. And you can see here what that looks like. Now the biggest thing to remember is just be creative. You can do whatever you want to. And I know a lot of CC more dumbbells, they only come in like a 14 mil, sometimes a 16. So if you've ever wanted a larger size, here's your way to do that. And like I said, if your dough gets a little dry, just go ahead and add a little additive to it and it'll bring it back to life. So just break off a little piece of the paste here. I'm going to put our stick right into the middle of that. Kind of mold that around. And instead of going around like that, like we would for a cork ball, we're just going to go, you can do it in your hand or you can do it right on the table here. Just kind of I get you in camera view. Just kind of go back and forth like that and that'll seal around really good. You can see it got a really nice seal. Now the ends aren't sealed so you got to kind of work it with your fingers a little bit. You can either tear a little bit off or uh, just work it like I'm doing right now. And just take your time. Like I said, if, if you don't have a good seal, the water will leak in. So just take that extra 10 seconds to inspect it and look it over and here we go that's how quick that was got a nice dumbbell we'll make another one this one here I just used a slightly more paste so we'll get a bigger dumbbell now keep in mind you don't want too much paste because what's going to happen it will make it sink the granted cork is very buoyant but it will make it sink so all we'll do go in the direction of the cork to go around it first and then just kinda mold around the end kinda go like that just to make sure everything's nice and sealed into it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth you can have a little bit of roughness to it you know the fish is not gonna really sit and stare at that that almost kinda looks like a tiger nut in a way too so you can see that there how nice that turned out so I got a few ready to boil here and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, the water is just about to boil. So we'll go ahead and pop in our hook baits here very soon. As soon as we get a good hard boil. Alright, we got the water boiling now. So we're going to go ahead and pop in our hook baits. And just make sure they're not sticking together. That one is. And uh, it takes like a minute, about a minute or so, until they cook through. 
take a minute there. Let's give them a quick stir just so they cook evenly on all sides. That's it. So I'll go ahead and uh, take these out, shut off the heat again. Just uh, give them a quick dry. I have a pot sitting off to the side there. And got the other ones. Shake them off there. And uh, we'll meet you back in the garage. All right, we're back into the garage. I'll go ahead and move aside my other ones that I already have. And I just made a little bit ago. And I put the new ones out here so they can start to dry out on the towel. And then I'll go ahead and air dry them. And add a little bit out of here, probably in about a day or so after they fully dry out. And you see all different shapes, sizes. And a great little tip. So I hope you enjoyed that. So there we have it. Another simple to do recipe. Uh, dumbbells, extremely simple to make with cork. Yeah, you know, it just takes an extra, probably 10 seconds per, per bait. Yeah, you know, just so you can make sure it's fully sealed. And it takes about a minute to come to a boil. Looks a little bit faded when it comes out, which is really nice. The fish love that usually. And like I said, just like the other ones, let it rest overnight. That way it absorbs all the moisture out onto the towel. And uh, we'll go ahead and just put them into one of our pots and add a little additive. You know, whatever you want to add. Just because I made Equinox doesn't mean you have to use Equinox. You can use whatever you want to. Hemp oil, uh, just put a powder on it, anything you want. You know, the sky's the limits. It's all about being creative and whatever you think will work best on your lake. So I hope you enjoyed that little tip there. After I made the cork ball pop-ups, decided to show you another recipe that I always make. So I hope you enjoyed it and lots more to come. Talk to you soon.